This is the Sakar Merli of the 1st of July, 2024. Essence, sweet children, the land of peace is the home of pure souls. If you want to go to that home, become completely pure. Question, what guarantee does the Father give all of you children? Answer, sweet children, remember me and I guarantee that you will go to my home without experiencing punishment. Attach your hearts to the one Father. While looking at this old world, do not see it. While living in this world, demonstrate how to remain pure and Baba will definitely give you the sovereignty of the world. Om Shanti The spiritual father asks you spiritual children. You children know that the father has come to take you back to his home. So do you desire to go home? That is the home of all souls. Here, the homes of all embodied souls are not just one home. You understand that the Father has come. You invited the Father to come here. Take us home. That means to the land of peace. The Father now says, ask your hearts. O oh souls, how would you be able to go back home in pure? You surely have to become pure. You now have to return home. He doesn't tell you anything else. You have been making effort for so long on the path of devotion. What was that for? For liberation. So the Father now asks you, do you feel like going home? Children reply, Baba, it is for this that we have performed devotion for so long. You also know that all human souls have to be taken back. However, you have to return home after becoming pure. And it is the pure souls that come here first. Impure souls cannot live in the home. Billions of souls now definitely have to return home. That home is called the land of peace and the stage of retirement. We souls have to become pure and go to the pure land of peace, that's all. This is such an easy thing. That is the soul's pure land of peace. And the other is the pure land of happiness of human embodied souls. Whereas this is the impure land of sorrow of human embodied souls. There is no need to be confused about this. The land of peace is the place where all pure souls reside. That is the pure world of souls the viceless incorporeal world. This is the old world of all embodied souls where all are impure. The Father has now come to make you souls pure and take you back to the pure world of the land of peace. Then those who study Raj Yoga will go to the pure land of happiness. This is very easy. You don't have to think about anything in this. You have to use your intellects to understand. The Father of us souls has come to take us to the pure land of peace. We had forgotten the way to go there and the Father has now shown us. I come and tell you every cycle. O oh children, remember me, Shiv Baba. Only the one Satguru is the bestower of salvation for all. He alone comes and gives you children the message, that is Srimat, regarding what you children now have to do. You have performed a lot of devotion and taken a lot of sorrow for half a cycle. 
By incurring expense, you have become poverty-stricken. Souls have become tamopratan from satopratan. Just these few things have to be understood. Do you now want to go back home or not? Yes, Baba, we definitely want to go back home. That is our sweet, silent home. You also understand that you are now truly impure and that is why you are unable to go back home. The father now says, Remember me and your sins will be cut away. I give you this same message every cycle. Consider yourselves to be souls because those bodies are going to be destroyed. Souls, however, have to go back home. That is called the incorporeal world. All incorporeal souls reside there. That is the home of souls. The incorporeal father also resides there. The father comes at the end because again he has to take everyone back home. Not a single impure soul will remain here. There is no question of becoming confused or having any difficulty in this. People sing, O purifier, come and purify us and take us back with you. He is the father of all. At that time, when we go to play our parts in the new world, very few people will reside there. Where will all the billions of souls go and reside? You also know that there were few human souls in the Golden Age. The tree was small and it then grew. There is a variety of innumerable religions in the tree. It is called the Kalpa tree. If you don't understand anything, you can ask Baba. Some say, Baba, how can we accept that the duration of the cycle is 5,000 years? The Father is only telling you the truth. He has also told you the account of the cycle. The Father comes at the confluence age of each cycle and establishes the deity kingdom, which doesn't exist now. In the Golden Age, there will then be one deity kingdom. At this time, he is giving you the knowledge of the Creator and the creation. The Father says, I come at the confluence age of every cycle. I establish the new world. The old world is to end. According to the drama plan, the new world becomes old and the old world becomes new. This is also shown in the four equal parts of the swastika, but they don't understand anything. On the path of devotion, it is as though they simply continue to play with dolls. There are so many pictures. On Deep Mala, they especially put them up in shops. There are so many pictures. You understand that there is now one Shiv Baba and you children. You come here, and then it is the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan, and then the kingdom of Rama and Sita. Then the other religions come. You children have no connection with them. They come at their own time, and then everyone has to return home. You children now have to return home. This whole world is to be destroyed. What is the point of staying here any longer? Your hearts are not attached to this world at all. You have attached your hearts to the One Beloved. He says, connect your hearts to me alone, and you will become pure. A lot of time has now gone by, and little time remains. 
time continues to pass by. If you don't stay in yoga, you will have a lot of repentance at the end. There will be punishment and your status will be destroyed. You now know how long it has been since you left your home. People beat their heads in order to go home. You will meet the father in the home. You will not meet him in the golden age. People make so much effort to go to the land of liberation. That is called the path of devotion. According to the drama, the path of devotion is now to end. I have now come to take you back home. I will definitely take you back. The purer someone becomes, the higher the status he will claim. There is no question of being confused about this. The father says, children, remember me and I guarantee that you will return home without experiencing punishment. Your sins will be absolved by having remembrance. If you don't remember me, you will have to experience punishment and your status will be destroyed. I come and explain this every 5,000 years. I have come countless times to take you all back home. Only you children play the parts of victory and defeat and I then come to take you back. This is an impure world, which is why people sing, O purifier, come, we are vicious sinners, come and make us viceless and pure. This is a vicious world. You children now have to become completely viceless. Those who come later go to heaven after experiencing punishment. This is why they go into a world that is two degrees less. They cannot be called completely pure. This is why you must now make full effort. It should not be that your status is reduced. Although that is not the kingdom of Ravan, the status is number-wise. When alloy is mixed in a soul, he receives a body accordingly. Souls become silver-aged from golden-aged. Alloy of silver is mixed into souls. And then day by day, there is dirtier alloy mixed into souls. The Father explains to you very well. If you aren't able to understand something, raise your hand. The Father explains to those who have been around the cycle of 84 births. The father says, I enter this one at the end of his 84 births. He then has to go into the first number. The one who was the number one is now the last one. The one who has become impure at the end of his many births is the one who comes first. I, the purifier, enter his body alone. I make him pure. I explain to you so clearly. The Father says, Remember me and your sins will be burnt away. You have listened a great deal to the knowledge of the Gita and also related it to others, but you didn't attain salvation through that. Many sannyasis have related the scriptures to you very sweetly. Hearing that sound, many eminent people have gathered together. It is sweetness for the ears. The path of devotion is just sweetness for the ears. Here, souls have to remember the Father. The path of devotion is now ending. The Father says, I have come to give you the knowledge that no one else knows. I alone am the ocean of knowledge. Gyan is called knowledge. 
I teach you everything. I also explain to you the cycle of 84 births. You have all of this knowledge in you. From the physical world you cross the subtle region and go to the incorporeal world. First of all, there is the dynasty of Lakshmi and Narayan. There are no vicious children there. There is no kingdom of Ravan there. Everything happens with the power of yoga. You have a vision that a baby will now enter the palace of a womb. He departs in happiness. Here people weep and wail so much. Here you go into the jail of a womb. There is no question of weeping or wailing there. The body definitely has to be changed, just as there is the example of a snake. However, there is no question of becoming confused about this. There is no need to ask many questions. You should totally engage yourself in making effort to become pure. Is it difficult to remember the Father? You are sitting in front of the Father. I, your Father, am giving you your inheritance of happiness. Can you not stay in remembrance for this final birth? You children understand this very well when you are here. But when you return home and see the face of your wives, etc., Maya eats you. The father says, do not have attachment to anyone. All of that is definitely to be destroyed. You have to remember the one father. While walking and moving around, remember the father and your kingdom. You also have to imbibe divine virtues. In the golden age there are no dirty things such as meat etc. The father says, still renounce the vices. I am giving you the sovereignty of the world. There is so much income in that, so why should we not remain pure? By remaining pure for just one birth, you earn such a huge income. You may live together, but let there be the sword of knowledge in between you. If you demonstrate that you remain pure, you will claim the highest status of all, because you would then be the ones who are celibate from birth. This knowledge is also needed. You have to make many others similar to yourselves. You have to demonstrate to the sannyasis how you can live together and still remain pure. They would then understand that you have some great power. The father says, by remaining pure for this one birth, you will become the masters of the world for 21 births. You receive such a big prize and so why would you not demonstrate how to remain pure? Very little time remains. There will continue to be the sound, and it will also be printed in the newspapers. You have seen the rehearsals. Look what happened with just one atomic bomb. Even now, people are still in hospital. Nowadays they make such bombs, etc., that there will be no difficulty. Everyone will be destroyed instantly. These rehearsals will take place and it will then become final. They experiment to see if people die instantly or not. Then they would find other methods. There won't be any hospitals, etc., who would sit and serve others? No Brahmin, etc. will remain to feed you. As soon as the bomb is released, everything will be destroyed. Everything will be buried in the earthquakes. 
it will not take time. Here there are crowds of people. In the golden age there will be very few. Then how will all of them be destroyed? As you progress further, you will be able to see what happens. There will be 900,000 there at the beginning. You are the fakirs, religious ascetics, and you love the Lord. You have now renounced everything, and you consider yourselves to be souls. The Father loves such fakirs. In the Golden Age, there will be a small tree. Baba explains so many things to you. All actors are imperishable souls, and they come here to play their own parts. You come every cycle to become the father's students and to study. You know that Baba will make you pure and take you back with him. According to the drama, Baba is definitely bound to take everyone back home. This is why the name is the Pandav Army. What are you Pandavs doing? You are claiming your fortune of the kingdom from the father, exactly as you did in the previous cycle, number-wise, according to the efforts you make. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dana 1. In order to be loved by the father, become complete fakirs. To forget your body and consider yourself to be a soul is to become a fakir. In order to claim the biggest prize from the Father, demonstrate how to become completely pure. 2. You have to return home, and this is why you must not attach your heart to the old world. Attach your heart to only the one beloved. Remember the Father and the Kingdom. Blessing May you constantly have a cheerful and careful mood by staying combined in your Brahmin life. If your mood of happiness changes in any situation, that would not be called permanent happiness. Constantly to have a cheerful and careful mood in your Brahmin life. Let your mood not change. When your mood changes, you would say that you want solitude because your mood is like that today. Your mood changes when you are alone. Remain constantly combined and your mood will not change. Slogan To celebrate a festival means to have enthusiasm for remembrance and service. Om Shanti